The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, we're looking forward to this game. You can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Lon in the fullback positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And the contest begins. Romero Bentancur Now Son Oh really good reflexes And danger averted Who can he pick out? And he clears the danger. Son. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. And dispossessed. Harry Kane. Fabier. Terrific block. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Kane. Oh, big opportunity. Son at the ready. They've given it away. Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Scott McTominay. It's with McTominay. Pogba has it. Rashford. Now Pogba. And options in the centre. Robbed them. Bodies forward and the break looks on.
And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Kane. It's with Bentancourt. It needs an accurate cross. Won it back. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pogba. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, great vision. Son. But really sticking to their task defensively. Marcus Rashford. Running room galore for United. Well, couldn't keep it in. So approaching half-time with United behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first 45? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, Harry Kane certainly bringing his influence to bear on that first half. Stuart, what did you think about his performance? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat. So the second half underway, with Spurs looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Kane, quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And they know they need to stop him. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? <laughs> corner kick played in. Not all that convincing defensively. And a very good challenge. I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision. Kane. Son. Pulls it back. Can he finish? Brilliantly blocked. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 39, Scott McTominay, to be replaced by number 17, Fred. Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. It 
It's opening up for them. The high press was very much on. Son. And the cross is very much on. Well, no problems defensively. This is looking threatening. Kane. Sends it back. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. A chance maybe from the wide position. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Corner given to United. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 21, Deja Kulisevsky. Coming onto the pitch, number 23, Steven Bergwijn. And there's the delivery. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Went in strongly, decisively. Davis. Skip. Kane! In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Well, a second goal for them here. Maguire now plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce corner given well these fans can sense an opportunity here they need to make the most of this corner and a change for Spurs at this juncture number five Pierre-Emile Poivier coming onto the pitch number eight Harry Winks playing it in it might still be problematic well that's the end of that for now ten minutes to go Harry Kane, given away by Tottenham. Bruno Fernandes, and he read it well defensively. Reguilon, Harry Winks now. Couldn't keep it. Rafael Varan. Diogo Dallo. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Chance to play it in. Ronaldo. Doing well to keep possession. Well harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing.
And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo, to be replaced by 21, Edinson Cavani. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever. His movement was dynamic. And he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.